In this video I'm showing how to fix a problem in Windows 7 where whenever you attempt to restart you get this error message that says you don't have permission to shut down and restart this computer. I'm going to show two methods of how to fix this problem. The first way will only work with Windows 7 versions Enterprise, Ultimate, or Pro. If you don't have one of those versions, go ahead and jump to this point in the video where I'll show a method that should work with any version of Windows 7. To check which version of Windows 7 you have, you can just click on the Start button and then right click on Computer and hit Properties and it will say right here, you can see that I have Windows 7 Enterprise. So if you have Enterprise, Ultimate, or Pro, you can just go ahead and close out of this window and the error message, and then click on Start and hit Run and hit Enter. In the Run prompt, we want to open up the Group Policy Editor, so just type the command gpedit.msc and hit Enter. In the Group Policy window, we want to go under Computer Settings and then Windows Settings, then Security Settings, and I'm going to open this up a little bit so we can see better then go to local policies and security options and then we want to scroll down until we see user account control and we want to open up this one that says user account control run all administrators in admin approval mode I'm just going to double click on that I'm going to go ahead and set it to enabled and hit OK and you can see we get this message down here in the corner that says we must restart our computer if we try to do a normal restart we'll still get that error message so I'm going to go ahead and close out of this window here, and then go to Start, type in Run again, and in the Run prompt, type in Shutdown-R-T0, and hit Enter. Alright, so now I'm back up in Windows 7. I'm going to go ahead and hit the Start button and see if we can restart. And you can see it was able to restart just fine without the error message, so that confirms this method fixed it. Now I'm going to show the second method to fix this problem, and what we'll be doing here is stopping and disabling some Adobe services. To do that, I'm just going to click on the Start button again and type in services.msc and hit Enter. And I'm just going to widen this column so we can see a little bit better. And you can see at the top here we have several services with Adobe in the name. What worked for me is stopping and disabling all of the Adobe services. To do that, you just double click on one of the services, click on stop, and then for startup type, set that to disabled, and hit apply, and OK. And then just go ahead and do that for all of the other Adobe services as well. Alright, so now we have all of the Adobe services stopped and the startup type has been changed to disabled. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and close out of services and restart. And we still get the error message, so we actually have to go to run again and use the same command as before, shutdown r t0 and hit enter. Alright, so now Windows 7 is finished rebooting and we're back up at the desktop. I'm going to go ahead and go to Start again and try to restart just to confirm that it worked. And you can see again we didn't get the error message here, so that confirms this fixes it as well. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that by using one of these two methods you were able to regain the ability to shut down and restart your computer. Hit like if this helped you out, and thanks for watching.